All right, my friends, it's Hank here. It's probably getting close to about 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. And this is our objective, to assault super mutants that have the tactical advantage in every single way. Because they've got high ground, everything. Hey. hey. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, move up this opposite hill here and um, get a little recon. Thing about supers is you, time to chat. What's on your mind? you can't really drop them with anything less than 7.62 millimeter, 50 caliber explosives. Um, the 308 headshot at close range is questionable at best. The helmet, maybe, maybe not. It's definitely got to be under 3600 foundation units. They regenerate. Um, they've got their own series of uh, tactics that they like to use. Um, it's because it's got um, Super Mutant Redo by Mad Max. It's got uh, better locational damage, so that makes them tougher anyway. And um, PA NPC, so they can regenerate. And they've got their own um, tactical profile. Which generally, in my experience, means hyper-aggressive. Now, one of my primary concerns right at this moment, and why I've elected to do this uh, moving into the day, is because of um, Nightkin. So, for the mutants that I can see, I have to kind of... Um, assume that there may be some that I don't see. That looks like one of the dogs. So, I'd like to plant a remote nuke, but it's just too, um, too bright, so I'm just going to have to try and do this on equal footing if he presents target. Now, if you caught the last episode, you, um, know where I dropped that stuff in the bin outside of, uh, Sargus. And now my salvage team has delivered it to County Crossing. I could grenade this guy. But I'd rather it be clean if possible. Let's see what that stirs up. So it looks like they're in search mode. Scan it for movement because they will outflank me. And uh, they, you know, if they're equipped with a rocket launcher or a um, heavy weapon of any type, which is not entirely uh, unrealistic to assume to be flanked be a very, very bad thing. That's another dog down there. Okay. Thought I saw another. Yeah, we got another one down there. That's my target. I can. This is time for explosives. They may not have located me yet.
Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. Damn, he's wearing some kind of weird armor. I did take some um, orange bed bats going into this engagement. I don't know, Kate. What about the ones we don't see? That's the ones you gotta fucking worry about. All in all, I thought that was pretty clean. I mean, if you do a little recon and you think it out and you attack at the right time for the uh, objective you're trying to complete, difficult encounter encounters are survivable. What the hell is this? Just a brush. Leaping in shadows here. I really don't even need that legendary. That stalker's legendary. It's not my fa one of my favorite legendaries anyway. It's like this. Could that be a uh, I can. Those invisible fuckers just really make me nervous. Hey, hold position. Stay there. Leaving me behind. It's your funeral. Get another a good reason to it approach in the day. Mines. Hey, moving out. Hey, on me. Yeah, SKK stalkers is in effect because that that could always complicate the situation. I'm trying to progress slowly up the ridge line to make sure I don't jump on a mine, but still not get attacked uh, on the left. I see something inside this building. I see a grill. Huh. I can see that box is trapped. Which somebody probably already should. Sprung that trap. Target, target. Now that's a nightkin. See, it's uh, lit up with recon, but there's no, uh, you can see I'm just silhouetted there. Take the high position here and we should be able to shoot it. I 
don't know exactly where his head is, though. I'm just gonna go center mass. Now I've got this sweet little um rifle here. It's got a water cooled um rapid fire. It's like a minigun in a rifle form. Fires five millimeter. Staggering as well. But for the most part, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable. Doesn't mean a random mine or something unforeseen will ruin my afternoon, so I'm going to take this nice and easy. But, um, I definitely want to emphasize the point that, um, the choices that you make attacking a location and the time, the time of day that you attack it, makes all the difference in the world, depending on the enemies that you're attacking. Poor bastards. Leave that junk behind. You're just wasting space. Mines are a major concern for me, so I'm going to try and stick to pad areas that I can actually see what's on the ground. Hey, stay there, boy. Look, hold up. Sure. I'll stay here while you have all the fun. See if my optics will reveal any mines. I guess um probably the ghoul stalkers may drop some in the mines or blew some of them up by accident. It's not to say that I won't exercise an extreme amount of caution. Let's go. Follow me. Yeah. And it's broad daylight, so that 
too is a concern. I don't want to get too far away from the site. Looks like these guys got blasted having a good time. It's a nice, it's a cool scenic point. Sure, be glad to take. I, I, mean, I want to give all this corn and uh, melons and everything. style. That'll make for um, a great variety of crops to plant at the uh, either county crossing or the slog. So there's that night kin. basically eviscerate you. Let's see, what have we here? Got a broken satellite array, maybe? Radio tower. Get more confident, but the mines are still... Uh, Great deal of concern. And he even had the ability to um, track me at night. Gotta be something of value on him. Now the melons are a pound a piece, I know they're heavy. Oh wow. I can do better than that, it's just too heavy a weapon. Calorie mate right away. Now I can make rum with razor grain.
for as plentiful as corn is, there's really not that much you can do with it. You can make vegetable starch with it, which is um, very important. That's all we're doing, is just taking a legendary off of it. Hey. Now Make sure you're gonna she be doesn't have any extra both of us. Right. legendaries. She's alright. What about you, dog meat? Hey. Everybody's good. Okay, all in all, successful mission. Uh, do a live save, temp save, and then we'll head down to the water lawn check it out. See a mire lurk on the far bank. Several of them, actually. That'd be perfect for my 308. Speaking of which, let's have a little lunch, and that will be uh, Fire Lurk Soup. And we'll have a little break to wash that down. With. And to reset my weapons to deal with different uh, challenges. But I'm going to need the... Um, Suppressed standard 308. Stick with my 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Shotgun for knockback. We'll keep the Kellogg's pistols just fine. Hear that? I see it coming. So, I don't know how um, Meyer lurks think. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. But it looks like um, it lost morale, and now it took cover. See how um, it responds to cryo grenades. Fun day. 
Hey. Time to trade a few things. Now, her particular weapon that she's using right now is a um, kind of a variant of mine. But except hers is set up with freezing and mine is set up with uh, radiation. It's a little different. But I'm going to take her back to the um, laser assisted electrical rifle because it's so good against um, power armor if we get ambushed. Kind of scan around the perimeter of this lake here. Good blood leaf, hub flower. But I'm not going to continue to go in this direction. I actually need to head back where my objectives are. Question is, if I go down there, can I get back up? And is it even worth it? I would say no. Beautiful sight lines up here. I see something on the opposite side of the road. Oh, hell yeah. I love gunners on patrol routes outside of uh, their range on the other side of water. I think this is our objective. That might be the insane asylum. Fuck in a. Might be out of range for a um, 308, but my 50 could probably do it. Got a tower on the opposite side. I mean, we're very much at like the outskirts of virtually almost any range, so we'll just kind of file that away for later. Looks like we'll end up taking this road right up to the uh, Saint Asylum. Get a little more food in my belly here. Let's go with uh, an egg omelet. And I'm just kind of sticking on the low side now, so. You know, if a uh, stalker pops up, yeah, I've got all kinds of concealment. I 
head back to the slog and let the, um, the wise men know that the job is done. grenades for this. Many of them were around. Fuck. It's like a double, double patrol. I mean, I'm so buffed, you know, from going into the um, my expectation of a heavy firefight there with the uh, super mates. Though, let me do a um, save game for level 56. All right. We're almost to Parsons, so I think it's about time I take the uh, charisma. It'd be really nice not to have to worry about taking friendly fire from Kate. So they're firing at us with the same type of stuff. This is a very dangerous weapon. Look at that damage. Awesome. Taking the armors. For the um, settlers that are right here. No, I don't even know what a regulated aperture is. I haven't seen that before.
Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, feel free to use our workshop. I'm glad to count you as a friend. All right. Can we trade a few things? Okay. Got some stuff for you right now, buddy. I'd like to trade some items. Sure. Just looking to trade a little. Of course. Anything in automatic, that's a standard. That's an automatic. I just need to trade gear with you. Go ahead. Gotta need some more uh, microfusion cells. Heads up. Need something? What's yours is mine. Right, darling? Excuse me. You look like a man who could use some fresh supplies. What do you say? Most definitely. Let's trade some things. Of course. You look like a man who could use some fresh supplies. What do you say? <coughs> Sounds good.
I gotta drop some weight somehow. Four of those. Let's trade some things. Sure thing. Just wanted to trade a few things. So basically all these guys out here are going to be equipped with um, energy sure. weapons and some uh, fairly decent armor that we were lucky enough just to strip off of those enemies that happen to be right there ambushing me to their own detriment and to my advantage. I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Okay, so it looks good. I'll deal with the ramifications of whatever um, equipment stuff uh, later, because I don't like to do that while I'm live streaming. I always do maintenance and stuff generally off camera. This right here is triple degree badass, and I don't know quite know what to do with it yet. I just know I fucking love it. And we'll worry about all this other little stuff later. I don't even want to deal with the people at the slog right at the moment because um, I want to carry on with my mission. It does give me an opportunity to sleep and all that too. So, slog. I think what I'm going to do is end the episode here. So I can do some maintenance, rests, and uh, stuff that I need to do. Uh, send what I need to send back up to County Crossing. And um, plan my strategy for moving towards the uh, Parsons Asylum. So that was a pretty neat, uh, pretty clean, effective uh, mission. It's been Hank. Catch you guys on the flip side.